Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over LinkedIn Ads Accelerate. It's LinkedIn's AI-powered campaign type. I'm gonna go over exactly what it is, how you can set it up if you already have access to it, and then give you my opinions on it. So let's jump into it. So what is Accelerate? Like I mentioned, it's LinkedIn's AI-powered campaign type. They announced this back in 2023, and it's not available in all campaigns managers. So you'll have to check in your account, uh, but I have an account that it's available in, so I'll show you and walk you through what it looks like, and I'll give you my opinions on it. So to jump into the details of it, it automatically generates your audiences based off of the objective that you select, also based off of the product name and details you provide. So you give them a URL, and it will build an a, a audience about that product or service that you uh, want to promote. And it also bases it off of audience signals that you provide and historical performance of your past campaigns. And it gives you automatic performance summaries and it also optimizes the performance over time. So depending on what objective you select, you're gonna need to get some data in for it to learn and further optimize your campaigns. So what it feels like to me is this is kind of like Google Ads when they started launching more machine learning and smart bidding capabilities like Target CPA quite a while ago. But uh, I don't, I haven't ran this in LinkedIn and I don't really plan to in the near future. Uh, I would like to see how this plays out a little more, but essentially it's gonna optimize based off the data that it's getting and try to continue to improve the performance of the campaign. And now I'm just gonna jump into the campaign manager so you can see what it looks like and then I'll give you my final opinions on it. So I'm creating a campaign in this campaign manager and you can see the AI powered campaigns. They have this little blue star here. So I'm gonna select website visits and then you can see it says it's in beta here. So I'm gonna continue with that and click next. And then you have to tell them about the product or the service that you wanna advertise. And I already created a list earlier, but you could add a new one here and you can start by um, putting in a URL and then you can name it. And then you can click next and it's gonna generate an AI powered response about the service or product. So then you wanna review the product description that it created based off the input you gave it. And this is what they're gonna to use to build your targeting and to build the campaign. So you wanna make sure this looks accurate and then you can click next and then you can select a campaign group or create a new one and then you click create campaign. And now it's gonna go through the process and create the, the campaign, the audience targeting and everything. So based off of the initial inputs, it already gives you a budget and it shows the forecast of results. You can edit each of these sections here. So we can go into edit and we can adjust the budget. We can adjust the campaign details like the name. And then we have the audience signals here. So the thing that I, I don't really like about this is that the audience is all built on their end and you don't see all the details. Once this starts to run, you can look at the demographics reporting. I'm sure you can pull that from the API, but when you look here, you can add in your own data sources. So if you have a Legion form or a contact or a company list, you could add that in there. You can adjust the locations and then you can exclu exclude locations or company list or you can exclude the, the company employees of the account. So just looking at this, I think there could be some potential problems or some potential like wasted spin here if it starts off real broad and then as it learns and narrows it down, you might um, be starting off a little too broad and wasting some money here. But again, I haven't tested this out, but uh, just looking at how it's set up, I could see that being an issue. And then you can add in your ads, you can adjust the placements. So it looks like there's no selection to turn off the audience network or to turn off in the audiences like uh, audience expansion, which are two things I always keep off in my uh, campaigns. But you can exclude categories and upload a publisher list to exclude. So you could essentially block all the mobile apps and um, websites that are on the audience network and that should clear up the um, a lot of the audience network traffic. But again, they don't just have the selection like when you're regular, regularly creating the campaign. And then they, they have conversion tracking. And on the right side here, you can ask questions if you have any need any help. Uh, it's like their AI assistant. And um, so you can click like assist here on audience signals. And then it will say, you know, it gives you some questions like how was my audience generated? 
we can click that and then it's going to tell you some of the details there and then if you go into ads and you click create ads so you can draft with the ai and it will give you some um, automatically you know created ads here which is interesting you can also click customize and you can use the ai to um, edit it so it's pulling it up here using microsoft designer and you can add in like a comment and click generate and it will create another ad off of that. So pretty interesting here. Uh, you know, things are really moving forward with AI in terms of creative and copy. So this could be something cool to test out and try. Uh, currently I do use AI for copy, but a lot of times I use Canva to create the designs. So, and then you essentially uh, put everything together here, get your ads going and then you launch your campaign and then it's launched. So that's overall how it's set up. Now, my opinion on it right now is I wouldn't recommend this just because it's new and they're slowly launching this off. And mainly because you don't have a ton of visibility into the audience targeting. And I think it might start a little broad and potentially then narrow down because it's gonna to try to optimize. So I do feel right now, at least for the clients I'm working with, I'm just recommending you know the manual creation so we can stay really tight on the targeting, avoid wasted spend, and then slowly scale the campaigns manually. It is good to see that LinkedIn is um, you know pushing some things out around AI. A lot of other platforms like Meta and Google Ads have really good machine learning and some AI components like smart bidding. So it's it's good to see it, and I think in the future there'll be more things that are improved and maybe I'll test this out with like a larger client. But for now, um, I'm not gonna be running it in any of the accounts that have it enabled. So um, that's my current take on it, but um, I'm sure things will change in the future. So if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comments section and thanks for watching and have a great day.